Well, obviously, it's it's great to be where where we are, and we are enjoying that moment. And um, and obviously, we have a, a big break. We have to reflect on what we are doing, and and be very much prepared for what is going to come after the World Cup. But um, our aim is to play better as a team every single day, to have better tools to to do what we want to do on that pitch. And um, I can say it's just it's been phenomenal to work with these players and staff. Yeah, when a team is in that moment, you want to carry on playing, obviously, but um, it's not possible. Uh, we have to use the time now in, in the best possible way, so the players that are not um, participating in the World Cup, they will have some time off, which they fully deserve, and the rest just fulfill a dream that everybody, every kid has had when, when they had a chance to represent the national team in, in a World Cup. It doesn't get better than that. He's a fantastic person, he's a fantastic footballer and, uh, and what he's doing at his age um, is not easy and uh, we are really happy to have him. Obviously you're relying on decisions from the referees to, uh, or VAR to get an opportunity. I think you know, them sort of things you know, aren't going for us now and we needed that break in the first half. We'd have gone in 1-0, it would have been a much different game I think. We've had someone to defend. and. Uh, and the first half would have been a reward of our good play, I think. So, yeah, disappointed with the decision. Really disappointed. It's a problem that the club have had for a while. Um, there's no quick fix to that with what's already here. Um, and maybe that's something that Julian will look to do um, in January. And that's his decision. But uh, you can clearly see that. We do struggle. We, we get opportunities, we get in there, we create something, but then we, the, the last bit uh, lets us down.